Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to turn your webcam window into any shape you want. I'm just going to do a circle and a heart for example, but you can do this with any shape and you will see why. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have your shapes ready. Like I said, I'm doing a circle and a heart. Now the shapes have to be black and the background has to be transparent or this will not work. And if you'll see, the actual image size is more of a square right here. And that's going to matter in a little bit. So you go to your webcam window, right click, go to filters. Now the first filter you add, and this is important, the first one you're going to add is crop and pad. We're not going to adjust this yet, but it has to be first or this will not work right. The next thing you're going to add is your image mask and blend. Now this is where we're going to add our shape. So we go to browse, get our circle, change alpha mask color channel to alpha mask alpha channel. Now, you remember how I said the image file was uh, a square, the actual image was square? Well, my webcam is a rectangle, a 16 to 9 aspect ratio to be specific. And because of that, we have this weird line now, right? So we're going to stretch image. And if you like the oval, that's fine. But if you want a circle, continue to the next step. We will go back up to crop and pad. And now what we have to do is we have to crop the edges of my initial window, not mushing it together. We're actually cropping them off so that we can have more of a square window, which will get us the proper circle. Now I have a 16 to nine aspect ratio and I find for that it was about 250 for the left, 250 for the right, gave me a great circle. Um, a lot of webcams have a four to three aspect ratio and for that I found 75 and 75 worked a lot better. And even now it's still a little bit ovalish. It's not um it's not perfect. It's not a perfect circle how I want it to be. Okay, yeah, there we go. I think 275 and 275 is definitely where it's at. Right? And here you go. Here's your here's your circle. You can make it as big or as small, you know, put yourself in the little little corner or whatever. Right? Isn't that cool? Um, now I want to show you real quick why the order is important because this is basically giving the effects in order of which to do things. So first we crop the window to be a square and then we add the image mask. If we were to do this the other way and we have the mask and then we add the crop afterwards, what it's going to do is it's going to crop the whole thing, image mask included. And it will not, there you go, it does not look right <laughs> at all. That is so messed up. So don't want to do that. So now with our mostly square, let's do our heart. So again, prop pad first, image mask blend after. Change that to alpha channel and bingo. And now you could ideally add, let's make that invisible for a second, and let's add a, another image mask. So the other one, first one we have is the heart. This one's going to be our circle, because it has to have a new name. So we're gonna browse again, get our circle back, alpha channel, and voila, you can change it, you know, depending on your mood. You know, be like, oh, you know, today I want it, you know, I want it to be a heart, but then tomorrow, you know, I want it to be a circle. You know, so you don't have to go through these steps every single time. You can easily just, you know, just switch it up. So that's how you do that. Super simple, super easy. You can do it with any image. Okay, so the rest of the video got a little bit messed up, but it was just me showing you how to do the same exact thing with the window, like if you were streaming Chrome or a game, whatever. Same exact steps are followed, so it's really not that big of a deal, but I figured I'd just add in there that you can do the same with um, adding an image file or adding a window or pretty much anything else. So take care.